Hey Mark, welcome to my house again. Okay, so this Monstera is beautiful and gorgeous, but something is wrong with it. I don't know what's wrong. See this yellow leaf here, it's turning yellow. It was green. Now I see a spot here and I did notice some new growth I was really excited about, but then this happened. It's crispy. So the backstory on this is it was really overgrowing its original pot. So I planted it in this much larger pot. Maybe I haven't figured out quite yet how much water it needs, um, but she's doing beautifully up at the top, but really struggling with new growth. The good news is we do have some roots that are growing here and this new little leaf I'm hoping grows into something but please help out my baby Monstera. Her name is Flor. All right, so our resident expert, Mark, joins us. Mark, help me with my Monstera. It's growing crispy leaves. Yep, so two issues there. One, uh, especially when we, on the leaf that was turning yellow, and then we saw that orange tone in there, and then the spotting. That's definitely from the water, uh, the residual leftover from uh, the chloramine burn will start that decay in the leaf, just that coloration will fade and fade, but we get that orangey tone every time. Uh, so that is something where you wanna go ahead and trim that off. Once, typically my rule of thumb is once the leaf is pretty much, you know, 30 or 40% gone uh, at that point it's causing more stress than doing any good so we just trim them off yeah and since this is good day austin though you did say you were proud of me because it was in a good pot it was, yes yes so that, <laughs> the other thing too is if you're a new plant person uh, starting in a clay pot terracotta uh, any any kind of clay uh, but terracotta specifically uh, that allows the root system to breathe uh, mm -hmm. and it gives you a great gauge well, when you water the terracotta takes on some of that moisture and it'll darken up so you can see literally how dark that pot gets once it's been watered well and over time as it begins to dry out thoroughly you'll see that container begin to brighten up and that's a nice way to get a clue from uh, your water schedule of how quick it's brightening up yeah. and you may need to water more if it's brightening up in a couple of days or you may need to water less if it's staying dark for 10 days or something you know right um, but airflow uh, is so so important on that root system i could i didn't really know what's the difference between terracotta and glazed and is it ceramic so you've got some examples for us right right so um you know anything that's going to be a glazed pot i mean there's thousands of different glazed pots out there but a glazed container when you plant directly in it um, what happens is when you do that water cycle a you've got to provide killer drainage we can drill these for folks so uh, you've got to have great drainage but the secondary thing is it's not going to dry out as fast you may have a ceiling fan you may be near a vent but that's still not going to allow it to dry out thoroughly because this is not breathing down here so the air pocket at the base is very important some gravel or some pebbles and a knee-high stocking tied off over that hole in the pot before you put your soil in is very important in a glazed container um, again, when you go to clay, you've got it made. Um, these can be drilled. Uh, if you want to do succulents in here and you just do the pebbles and the stocking and the base. Uh, again, once this is watered, the, the especially succulents are going to love that breathing space. So if you're a beginner, it's a great way to start is with clay as opposed to something glazed. Okay, perfect. And then you have a, what is more of a healthier monstera. <laughs> so what are some things to really look for in this plant here in terms of new growth? Yeah, when you look for a new monstera, again, seeing those fresh leaves coming on. And then something else I want to point out. So depending on where your light is coming from, try to remember that we want that plant to make a 360 by the end of the month. Oh. Um, that's super important to keep the crown even. Otherwise, they will get very lopsided. Uh, and uh, then you'll be staking them and doing all sorts of things that they do is necessary if it's getting equal light from 360. All right, good to know. Well, we always appreciate your expertise. And again, if you have a question for us, please email us.